Hello everybody, Raging Donuts on and welcome back to another tutorial video. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to build this epic concrete converter for 1.14 uh, all the way up to 1.14.2 to quickly convert all your concrete powder into concrete. Uh, this design was originally created by YouTuber Mumbo Jumbo, but he didn't do a tutorial on it. Uh, he only showcased himself building it uh, and I found it was a little hard to follow so I did manage to recreate it myself and I added a few tweaks to it, uh, a few improvements that I thought would make it better, and I decided to make it into a tutorial for you guys that was easy to follow. So yeah, let's get right into the video and I hope you guys enjoy. How the converter works is it uh, uses zero tick pistons to allow you to place concrete very fast which gets pushed down here, and then TNT uh, gets duped and exploded at perfect timing. Uh, right around the middle of this area here so the concrete gets exploded and it all gets put into a storage system like this. This does use TNT duping so if you're not okay with that then this machine is not for you although you could probably figure out how to do some dispenser timings uh, which would be a bit different and it also does use a bit of obsidian and some different stuff so it's a bit complicated redstone wells you're gonna need uh, quite a few pistons and stuff like that. Uh, five comparators as well but if you have all that then this build will be a great addition, uh, especially if you have something like a concrete duper and you need to convert a lot of concrete quickly. Uh, so let's get right into the build. The first thing we'll be building is the collection area down here. Uh, so find yourself a good area away from other buildings preferably because it does have quite a good blast range. So once you find the area you want to build it in, I recommend building up three blocks from the ground. This is just to allow space for the storage. Uh, if you want to have even bigger storage, you can build it further up, but I'm building three blocks from ground, so go up like this. And I'll build a 5x8 platform, so 5, and then 8, just like that. And then make sure to cover the outside of the platform, just like this in obsidian, because if we don't do this, the reg if we use regular blocks instead of obsidian here, they would just get blown up by the TNT because they're in the blast range. Uh, then grab yourself some ice of any type. You can use packed ice, blue ice, regular ice. Just make sure there are no light sources around. And build that uh, one. Uh, build it out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks, just like that. And cover the side here. Then you want to get some chests uh, because the chests have the right, what do you call it, the hitbox, so that items get pushed right up to the edge. So build them just like that. And we can grab another obsidian if you want. Not really necessary and come over here and place in your chests. So go out like that and then place in your storage. This is where it doesn't have to be this big, uh, just however much you think you need and then have your hoppers running into the chests here. There we go. And then place some glass panes to keep the water from flowing out. And we'll get another smooth stone block. Uh, and that's basically the storage. So get water here and then place some water here. So there we go, all the items, the concrete, it'll be thrown right into the water and it'll get pushed up against the chests and then get put into the hoppers here and into those chests. So now let's get uh, on with the actual converter part of it. So grab yourself some temporary scaffolding blocks and then find the middle chest here in the middle and go up 12 blocks from that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and 12, double check that that is correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this is where the pistons will be going that are pushing. So place a piston to the side like this, a piston going up like this. Make sure that this uh, block right under here isn't actually temporary. This is a permanent block. And uh, then get yourself some redstone, stuff like that. And then come out to the side here and build up like that. Place redstone dust along and then a redstone torch here. So now this will zero tick the pistons so that you can place items very, very quickly. All right, now go out two blocks from where this is, one, two, and then put five permanent blocks. You can remove these two again. Then uh, expand it just like that, go up one. And you wanna grab some slabs of any type and place them along the side here. Go up one more block, just like that and grab some regular pistons. Again, we're only using regular pistons right now. Place these going up here and then going down here. Now you want to grab yourself some redstone dust and just fill in this entire area here. 
with redstone dust up here, up here, and up here. So this uh, is the thing that will be pushing it all down. Grab yourself some more blocks and then leave a gap in the middle and do a 2x5 area here. Then grab yourself some furnaces uh, as well as comparators. And we'll be using furnaces to send the exact signal strength needed to only power this exact piston right here. So to do that, we'll get exactly uh, 58 of any disposable item, any stackable item, just 58 of it. That'll give the exact correct signal strength. So since I'm in creative, I can just control middle click and get the furnace with the items inside it. Uh, and now what this will do is you can see the blocks will all get pushed down. And then once that reaches the bottom, it will go over and it'll start pushing out the next blocks just like that. Okay, since this is a converter, we do need some water as well. So get two blocks, place them just like here so the concrete doesn't fall down. And then place a slab on the bottom, come up to the top, and place a ring like that. So we kind of have a tube kind of looking thingy. <laughs> and then get a water bucket in the bottom, that's very important, else the water will flow everywhere. And then put a water in the top. And just like that, we now have the actual converter part. It'll all be converted to concrete. Now let's just make a platform where you can stand. Uh, we need to make sure you're standing here. And then there we go, have a wall like that and you can stand in here and place your blocks. And then if you want to have them dispensed as well, uh, grab yourself a dropper, place it here and get a redstone dust as well along here. And then to have stuff leading into it, you need at least three hoppers. Uh, with items constantly feeding into it. So you can place uh, shulker boxes with concrete or double chests or whatever you want. And that will put it in here quickly enough. You can expand this out a bit as well. So you have more space. Uh, I recommend putting a roof on as well because phantoms are quite a pain. They will spawn in and they will kill you. So now you can see you place it down and it immediately gets dispensed a new one. Uh, so yeah, that's that part of the system done. Now let's go on, uh, get on to the actual duper part of it. So the TNT will be going right here above this furnace here, as signaled by the red wall. Uh, so around that, we want to put some obsidian, just like that. And then you want to get the obsidian and then go a block out, and then two blocks up, and then build this area out, just like that, and have it look like that. Place a level like that, a redstone torch like that. And then you want uh, two two uh, repeaters set on full delay, and then one on no delay, and then two on uh, no delay, and then one on full delay. And that will be your clock. So if you put redstone on the top there, you can see that is your clock for timing the TNT. Turn the lever on to turn the clock off. You want to come back down here. It's very important, don't miss this out. Place a block like that, and then have one redstone dust on there. Then come down and place a block down from this one, then another one, and come down here and place two blocks out, then one up, and you want to bring this out a bit and have a block up like this, and then also have a block up here. Now what you want to do is get some sticky pistons, place them there, uh, have some regular blocks above, regular blocks there. They're going to be pushed out, they're going to be holding the TNT so it explodes at the right time, and then protect these with four blocks of obsidian under them. Now what you want to do is get a repeater on no delay, then some dust, full delay, full delay, and then a three block delay, and then get redstone dust going all the way around like that. If you turn it on, now you can see that the piston, uh, the, the TNT gets dispensed and it'll get pulled back at the exact time. So now let's build the actual TNT duper. Go up here and then place a sticky piston just like that. Have a block above it with a lever. This is for um, building the uh, the duper. And then get yourself some slime and place three like this, three like this. Remove that block now. So this is the slime formation. You want to get yourself a detector rail. Also, uh, I probably should have said this in the start of the video, but make sure that uh, how do you say? It? Yeah, this here, uh, this uh, the capturing platform, the collecting platform, is facing east or west, else that will not work. So uh, I'll make sure I put to put that in the description because I forgot to say at the start of the video. But yeah, east or west, because 
the rail here has to face north or south for this to work. Very, very important. Place your minecart and you can get uh, TNT or a coral, coral fan. This has to be a dead coral fan, so you have to go out and find one of those as well. They're not too hard to find. And then get a cobblestone wall or any type of wall really. Then activate the uh, lever and then pull it back. And that will kind of have the tire, the uh, the duper in place, so it's ready. So now the moment of truth. Double check your pist or your repeater timings because if they are not correct, this will not work. And as you can see, it gets held back so that it explodes at the perfect perfect time. And then make sure uh, when you leave the area, turn this off because if you leave uh, and these get put in the lazy chunks, the minecart can be ejected, uh, which will kind of break it. So. Just turn this off again. Make sure you turn it off whenever you leave. If that does uh, that does happen and the minecart breaks, make sure you don't just place it on again because that will just uh, that will just break it all. That'll dispense the TNT and you won't be able to put it back. You have to do it in the correct order. So uh, break the TNT and then break these back blocks here so you only have that left. And then you can build it up like we did before. And then just activate and deactivate this and it'll all be put back in place. That's the main part of that. So now let's test, do a quick test. We can get our white concrete powder, uh, go into survival. Make sure you are standing uh, on this block, else you can see it, uh, okay, well, not right now, but it can place it inside this block here, which won't work. So make sure you're standing in this block, aim to the lower part so it doesn't place a block on top. And then you can just go AFK holding right click like this, uh, using any type of auto clicker and it will get dispensed down and I've forgotten to turn it on so uh, make sure you turn on the lever as well that's a good idea turn on the farm TNT will start dispensing go back in uh, survival I cannot do this for there we go stand correctly and start and if we look we should hear some TNT exploding soon aha I see I have been at fault. I have placed, I have not placed the minecart. That is where I have gone wrong. Very typical. So, uh, re yep, remember to do that, viewers. Remember to place the minecart again, uh, else this will <laughs> not work. All right, TNT, and then the minecart. Turn that on and off. That will all be ready. And then, if this happens, you'll have to break these blocks to get it running again because that's the push limit. Turn this on. Let's see a moment of truth and get a nice thumbnail shot as well. Nice. Perfect. And then if we can go in and test this. Game mode. Survival, just like that. And boom. So it should all be getting blown up. If I go a little closer, you might be able to see the concrete coming through down in the water there. It is definitely working at this point. All of it is coming down here. None of it is being lost and it's all going into the chest here. Perfect. Ah, uh, a really important yet unfortunate thing I have forgotten to mention is that this all works nilly dilly in uh, single player worlds, but if you are on a multiplayer server that has intense TPS lag, the server is very slow, running very slowly, uh, like the server that I currently play on, then this will not work perfectly. What will happen is that you'll be placing blocks like this, la 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 la, and then it'll stop because the server can't keep up. And the only fix I found is placing a repeater along like that because that will slow it down enough that the server can keep up. It's a shame because it significantly decreases the effectivity and the speed of the farm. It makes it a lot slower. But on the other hand, it works because if you're on a laggy server and you don't have that repeater there, it just will, it'll just stop after a bit, uh, which is really unfortunate. Uh, but even with the repeater, you can still manage to get several uh, double chests converted uh, overnight. So uh, yeah, unfortunate, but that is the truth. So now I'll do some still shots from different viewing angles so you guys can see uh, what it's supposed to look like. If you want to go back and double check, just do a fly around here. Look at all the repeater timings as well. The way that everything is built, just like that. Well guys, it seems that that was all for today's episode. I really wanted to make this video because I've also built this duper, uh, or not duper, the converter on the Survival Aquatic server, and it just, it works really well. So I wanted to show you guys that as well. 
so yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful, helpful. I'll link to Mumbo Jumbo's original video, uh, even though that's not really a tutorial. But yeah, I'll link to that in the description. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.